Dear students, good morning. I hope you are healthy and healthy. Today, I am going to narrate a famous story to you. Its title is The Happy Prince. This story is written by Oscar Wilde, an Irish poet and playwright. Here, in this story, you will see how the feelings of love, compassion, sympathy and sacrifice for others can reduce misery, poverty and disease from the world and transform this planet into a paradise. Students, be quiet. The story starts. Once upon a time, there was a very happy prince. This prince would not cry for anything and did not get sad. He made his castle wall really tall. The reason for it was to never encounter bad things or the things that will make him sad. He always wanted to smile and could not stand crying. His people would envy him and wanted to be more like him. One day the prince died. They immediately made his statue to honor him. This statue was located in the highest spot in town and made out of gold. Prince's eyes were made out of sapphire and his sword's buckle was ruby. Happy Prince was surprised when he saw the new place. He was surprised what he was seeing from his new spot. He did not see anything because of his high walls in his castle. The people were not happy like him. On the contrary, everyone was in poverty and distressed. When he was crying, a swallow lands on his legs. Because it is migration time, the birds were about to leave, but a teardrop lands on its head. Why are you crying? Who are you? I am the happy prince. If you're the happy prince, then why are you crying? Prince started to explain the situation to the bird. He tells the bird about a family's condition. Is there something I can do for you? Yes. At the end of the street, there is a poor house. One of the windows is open and through it I can see a woman seated at a table. She is embroidering a dress that a lovely lady will wear at the palace ball. Her son is in bed, hungry, sick, but she can only give him water. Please, little swallow, take her ruby of my sword. The bird could not migrate for this reason that night. It was the next day and Prince saw another house. Do you want me to do something else for you? Yes. Please take one of my sapphires to a writer that lives in that house over there. He is hungry and cold. He is trying to finish a play to the director of the theater, but he is too cold and hungry to write any more. What will he do with the sapphire? He will sell it to the jeweler and buy food and firewood and finish his play. The bird did what it was told again. Swallow wants to migrate, but could not because it wants to help out the prince too. Is there something else I can do for you? In the square below, you will find a little mesh girl. She is wearing no shoes and has no coat. Her matches fell in the mud and now she can't sell them. Her father will be angry at her if she doesn't bring home some money. I don't need this sapphire. She needs it more than I. And the bird did so. Oh, Prince, I did as you told me. Poor little girl. I found her crying lying on the ground. I stood in front of her, and when she saw the sapphire I had in my feet, she touched me gently, and then she took it. I flew away, and I saw when she stood up and looked at me. Thank you. Prince, 
Now that you are blind, I cannot leave you. I'll stay with you forever. There was no longer a worthy thing in Prince. In the meantime, Swallow is having a hard time. It has to leave this cold city as soon as possible. Swallow helped the prince again. In the morning, in the feet of the prince, the swallow freezes to death. The statue is now a worthless stone. Municipal congressmen see this and decide to remove the statue and melt the gold. Money coming from this was going to help build a new statue of the new mayor. They melted the statue, but there is a lead heart left which was Thales. This heart was left where the body of the swallow located. God said to the angels to bring two invaluable things from the earth. The angels bring the body of the swallow and the indestructible lead heart of the prince. Now it's time for doing some tasks. You have watched the movie of the story. Now go through its text minutely. You are required to write the summary of the story in your own words. I repeat, in your own words as much as possible. The word limit for your summary is 180.